If instead of transmitted light, we want to find our sample with fluorescence light, we are going to select as our active channel in the imaging mode filter called Fluo Eyes, whichever of these three fluorescence filters we want. For example, if we want GFP, we're going to press this one. And at that point, we can come over here. There's one more thing we need to do if you want to look at fluorescence by eye, which is on this control panel, we need to turn the light on and off using this button. If you press it, it goes to on. You can see those turn dark. If we're on the off position, those have this hatched pattern. If you need to the increase the intensity of illumination, you can push these three buttons up to get brighter light uh, when you turn on the illumination by pressing this button. One final note about this illumination system is that it has actually three LEDs. One that uh, is the one necessary for DAPI, another for GFP, another for RFP or similar fluorophores. And by default, they will all be turned on. But if you want, you can turn off ones that you are not using. Uh, usually this doesn't matter because we have a filter cube on the instrument that will do the filtering. But if you want to be absolutely sure that there's not even a little bit of light leaking through, uh, particularly from the UV, you can go ahead and turn off those alternative uh, LEDs that you're not using. By default, this will always be set to all three on and uh, the intensity will be set to 20%. This will usually be sufficient for most typical samples, and be aware that if you look at them by eye uh, using this illuminator, this may cause a significant amount of bleaching, so be very careful when you do this.